All right, g'day, hi, and welcome. So hopefully I'm gonna be in focus here. With well, this camera, I usually am because it's such a wide angle. <laughs> All right, so I got an interesting video for you today. Well, at least I think it's gonna be interesting. I was listening to a video from Rob Chapman, uh, the guy, Chapman Guitars. Uh, he, uh, I never played one of his guitars. He's a guy from the UK, real guitar nerd. Uh, he's been on YouTube forever. Uh, he was talking about uh, what level of musician, uh, guitar player are you? And I thought, wow, what a great, great, um, a great concept for a video because what he talked about in there uh, did kind of, you know, like how do you assess your own playing? You know what I mean? Because uh, if you play in front of a non-musician and you do something like this, they'll go, wow. Or if you do something like this, They'll go, wow. If you do something like this, they'll go, wow. Uh, if you go like this, they'll go, wow. If you do something, they'll go, wow. So how do you assess that? They like it all. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which is not a bad thing. But how do you assess yourself? Uh, are you a beginner? Are you an uh, intermediate? Are you, uh, a, you know, a pro? Or are you virtuoso? Well... The way I would break it down is, okay, if you're doing this, hopefully you can see where you grab your fingers and you're trying to place them on the, okay, you're a beginner, right? If you don't know what you're playing at all, uh, what's this chord? I don't know. Uh, what's this chord? You know, or like, okay, I'm going to play it. E. Okay, now you know what the chord is. You're still a beginner. You're still figuring it out like he was talking about. You figured out, okay, that's an E minor, but sometimes you play it like this. You're playing the F sharp. Sounds very, very beginnerish, right? So it's kind of actually hard to do that, you know, because I'm used to going. <laughs> Whatever, right? So you're figuring out the chords. Oh, wow, what's that chord? It's so, so cool. So what is that? What is that? And then you figure it out. Okay, that's an E minor. D minor, slightly out of tune. Okay, now you get a little bit fancy. Okay, now you're not even, uh, you know, thinking about what you're playing. You're just playing, right? You can now play the guitar. So, once you can get to the point where you don't have to think about what you're playing or where you're putting your fingers, like... Uh, where's the uh, heavy metal E? Okay, there's the heavy metal E. Where's the Metallica E? There's the Metallica E. Okay, where's the Iron Maiden E? There's the Iron Maiden E. <laughs> you know, what I mean? once you're out, of, once you're out of past that stage and you're just uh, you're just playing. Okay, now you can play. But now, once you can play. Um, Think of like uh, people in an orchestra, and I've noticed this about like violinists and like people that, you know, horn players or whatever, anybody that plays in a big brass band. If you don't put sheet music in front of them, they simply cannot play music. They, they, they just can't uh, remember how to play the music unless it's right in front of them. They have to sight read, which to me is like a beginner slash intermediate stage because if they're sight reading Paganini and playing it note for note, well, they're definitely not a beginner, right? Uh, but uh, if they're playing and they can, they don't have to sight read, uh, kind of like when a guitar player plays and he knows just what chords are going to go from slightly out of tune. It, it, Weather changed, so everything's out of tune right now, but it doesn't matter. This is just for the demonstration anyway. Okay, I got to hit a B now. C. D. E minor. Right? So it doesn't really matter. I don't have to think about it. My hands will just go there. I don't even have to say it in my head. It's just, it's, it's bashed into me from repetition of playing. Right? So at that point, you can play guitar. You're still beginner intermediate. So you no longer, uh, you know, you're, you're not missing any notes. Uh, you know, you can. Right. 
right? So you, you can play smoothly, you're an intermediate at this point. Okay, but... What was that? What is this? What was that? Okay, there's the, okay, I got the E going. I'm doing something really cool there. What is that? Okay, so you learn your first E minor Peggio, right? Cool. Now you're getting intermediate pro because it's like, okay, I learned this thing, but where do I put it, right? You know, I'll play an A chord. with it, but it doesn't Ah, that's an E minor uh, arpeggio. Okay, great. So now you're getting to the point where you're not just thinking about one guitar, you're thinking about what on your rhythm, okay, now what's going to go on top of that. You know what I mean? So like, you know where to go. I don't even have to think where to go. If I'm playing an E, I don't have to think where, I'm just using the E as an example because it's a really easy one. Oh, awesome. So at that point, you're intermediate pro. Once you know when you're playing whatever chord it is, maybe it's a C minor. Whatever, it doesn't matter, right? Uh, maybe you're playing uh, an F. An e. So I know, I, I don't, like if I'm playing an E and an F, I don't have to think of what I'm going to put over there. I just use those arpeggios, like it be another E minor arpeggio, and then I can throw an uh, F on there, right? An F major arpeggio. Whatever, whatever you're gonna throw there, right? And if it's F sharp, whatever, whatever I gotta do there, I forget what I gotta do there. But anyway, you get the idea. So at this point, you're starting to understand the music. You're starting to understand what goes where and what you can get away with, what you can't get away with, right? At that point, you're intermediate slash, uh, you know, uh, pro. Now, pro would be. Pro is a very funny term because what am I doing for time here? I still got a little bit of time, yeah. So, uh, pro is a very funny term because pro can be very, very simple, straightforward uh, in context of the song, or it can be uh, polyphia or ingve. You know what I mean? Uh, but you call like polyphia, you know, like Tim Henson, you call that virtuoso. Because, like, the technique it takes to do some of that stuff, right? Uh, Ingve, like, you can learn the sheet music of what Ingve is doing. doesn't mean you can play it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that, all the crazy, you know, whatever. All that stuff. That there becomes skill level. And I think skill level sets you between pro and virtuoso. But I think it's a very broad spectrum. So... Uh, you could play at a basic level and still be a pro, you know? How many times have you heard that uh, pentatonic thing, right? Um, many pros use it. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, uh, it's one of those things that it can go all over the place, you know? Whatever, it's to some people that'd be really easy. To some people that'd be almost impossible. So pro, I think, is a very broad term. But I think if you just want to get into the basic categories of what is an intermediate, what is a pro, I think it really comes down to the knowledge of what you're doing and knowing when to do it 
whatever it is, no matter how basic or how complex it is. I think a pro will always know what to put over what. Know what scale or arpeggio or shred whatever to put over whatever chord. So that's my take on it. Uh, so it's a good way to rate yourself. And then after that point, you how cleanly can you play it? Uh, and yeah, so it's like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up. So anyway, yeah, so uh, there is ways to assess yourself to see. And then at the end of it, the last question you ask is, okay, if you're doing your, is that the best I can do it? And then that's where the virtuoso starts coming out. Like when you can do it like as, as phenomenal as possible. And then add stuff into there. Uh, so yeah, you guys tell me what you guys think. What, what level do you think you guys are at? I think I'm like a virtuoso magnum plus, plus, plus. Anyway, yeah, whatever.